And here we've got an infiltrate in the dermis. The epidermis looks normal. Ignore the orange, that's just ink. For those of you who are new in the new uh, residents here. And we've got these big frothy looking cells here. They got round nuclei and a bunch of foamy cytoplasm. Sometimes it can be hard to tell foamy and granular apart. When you look closely, you can see tiny little bubbles that are clear because they're made of lipid. And they oftentimes will kind of gently scallop the nucleus, kind of like you'd see in a sebocyte. And that's a good sign that you have a foamy cell, a foamy histiocyte probably. And if this is a little yellowish, um, a little yellowish flat lesion near the eye, uh, what would that be called? Yeah, xanthelasma. And other forms of xanthoma will have a very similar appearance. And I feel like we don't see xanthoma or xanthelasma biopsy very often. So I actually don't have a, as good of a handle on the, the differences histologically um, between the different forms of xanthoma. Okay, so xanthelasma are usually near the eye. If you see free floating gooey lipid material, you can think of eruptive xanthomas, which do have correlations with different lipid abnormalities. And obviously, looking at the histology, once you think it's a xanthomatous type process, finding out what the clinical scenario is is often really helpful in deciding if they need to go and do more workup uh, for the patient to rule out a uh, lipid abnormality.